2 Corinthians 1, 8 through 9, Paul tells us of the troubles he went through. He says that they were crushed and overwhelmed beyond their ability to endure. He goes on to say they expected to die. But as a result, Paul stopped relying on himself and he learned to rely on God who raises the dead. And I don't know the nature of the afflictions Paul and his team were facing, but I will tell you they must have been pretty bad. But here is the lesson from this. We ask ourselves, why was Paul exceedingly crushed beyond strength to the point that he despaired of life itself? The answer? In order that he might learn to put no confidence in himself, but rather to put all of his trust and hope in God. Paul was brought to the brink of death that he might have no other recourse of hope than to turn to the one who has the power over death, God, who raises the dead. And what does this mean for you and me? Well, we must ask ourselves, what is God doing in the calamities and the trials of our lives? The answer, he is causing us not to rely for our happiness and hope in ourselves or in the stable, comfortable circumstances that surround us. Rather, he's causing us to rely on himself who alone in all the universe is eternally and beautifully reliable. My friends, trials and problems are a guarantee. The question is, will you allow your trials and problems to draw you close to the one who can comfort and strengthen and empower and guide you? Because when you do, your, your trials and your problems, they, they have no power over you. Following the victor leads to victory.